Watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. Water is essential and even more vital during the hot summer months. We're going to have hot weather this week. Topeka's Mobile Access Partnership wants to make sure the most vulnerable among us don't go without. Amy Cobb Hasty with Vallejo Behavioral Health is here to explain the effort that you have going on with all of your MAP partners. So first of all, let's give a shout out. Who are the Mobile Access Partnership? It's partners. Vallejo, uh, the Topeka Rescue Mission, the, uh, the Health Department, uh, Stormont Vale, and uh, K-State Extension Office with their mobile uh, veterinary clinic uh, that I know you're familiar yeah. with. What yeah, what kind of things does MAP do? Well, we do a variety of things. I mean, the idea is that we have a comprehensive pop-up space twice a week uh, where we can care for the unsheltered. And that can be anything from food and drink to new clothing, showers, city IDs, um, backpacks, shoes, socks, I mean, anything that's a basic need. And then Vallejo does do mental health screenings and we do also um, have case managers there that really try to work with people to get them out of homelessness. I and mean, that's the goal. And what's incredible is that there's demand every stop you make. Yes, mm -hmm. that's correct. There is. So July is about hydration. What is yes. the effort that you have going on this month? Yes, well, we just can never keep enough bottled water at MAP. I mean, we just go through it um, so quickly. So we're doing a hydration drive that we're collecting uh, bottled water and electrolyte drinks throughout the month of July um, to really give out um, to the folks um, who visit MAP because you know, quite frankly, in this warm weather and especially during the summer, a bottle of water can really be a life saving measure. And I don't mean to be dramatic, but mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. I mean, right. it really can be life saving. Because you need access to good, clean water yes. in order to survive. Correct. That's absolutely right. And we had um, the rescue mission did outreach, street outreach, this past weekend. And they found a gentleman who had fallen out of a tree and he had been laying with a broken leg for two to three days. And the first thing they did was race to him with a bottle of water because he was so dehydrated while they were calling 911 to get him help. And so they literally saved his life. I mean, there's no question. And about these aren't that. stories you're hearing from around the country. No, these no, are no. stories that are happening right here. Yo, in our this community. happened right here. And in water Topeka. is such a basic need. Yes. If people want to help you out, what can they do? Well, um, we have drop off locations at Vallejo at our main building at 330 Southwest Oakley. We have two entrances, uh, drop uh, water off there. Um, there is a site at the rescue mission um, at their warehouse at 401 Northwest Norris Street where you can drop things off. And then, of course, if you want us to shop for you, I'm happy to do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can take my shopping cart around and pick up bottled water. So make a donation at VallejoTopeka.org and I can shop for you. How is the map funded? I think that's very important to point out because it's, it, it points to why you are doing a drive like mm -hmm. this. Well, map is not funded. <laughs> so, right. I mean, that's the, the <laughs> simplest way I can answer it. I mean, we started this just over two years ago. May was our, our two year anniversary and none of us had a budget for it. I mean, we received a grant uh, to buy the first uh, Vallejo shower trailer and then, you know, uh, donations from individuals came through the rescue mission to purchase their um, food trailer and their clothing trailer and things. And so we've been existing on the goodwill, the kindness and generosity of the community and businesses and civic organizations, church groups, and the city of Topeka to make this happen. And that's why we need your help for the hydration drive for the mobile access partnership. You can drop off your donations of bottled water or bottled electrolyte drinks, you know, Powerade, Gatorade, you know what we're talking about. The Vallejo lobbies at 330 Southwest Oakley or the TRM Warehouse 401 Northwest Norris. Also make those monetary donations. Either make that out to the address on your screen. I'll put that on WIBW.com as well. Or you can go online to Vallejo topeka.org. Amy, thank you very much. Where are you going to be tomorrow? Thank you. Where am I going to be tomorrow? The map. The map. Yeah. Yes. You, got, you got a deployment tomorrow. You yes, we with do. Them. We're back. Do you know yes. what the location is? Uh, it actually, it's on Topeka Boulevard. It's the two churches that come together right there on the corner of Topeka like six, Boulevard. Like 6th, 7th Topeka Boulevard. Uh -huh. So yes. look for them if you need that help. Thank mm -hmm. you so very thank much. You. Bring your water to them there. They'll yes. take it. Yeah. <laughs>